Well, today is the day. I need to do a little maintenance on my Berkey water filter. I'm just emptying it out a little bit, uh, getting the clean water out of the bottom because I need to take the whole thing apart. Normally you've got to clean off the filter candles. That's what they call the filter elements as candles. Uh, normally you've got to clean off the filter candles every so often, and it just depends on how clean or dirty the water is that you put in. Since I've got to clean the filter candles, uh, I figured I'd take care of one little problem that I have going on, which is this bucket, back when I made this, this top bucket or container, I guess, um, I was a little uh, hasty in when I drilled the holes for it, and they have split out. So I have gone to the restaurant supply store and I bought a new bucket. So I'm going to switch out this bucket to a new bucket. Ooh, I think I need to clean my sink today too. That would be a good little thing to do. This is disgusting. Cleaning off these filter candles is a pretty easy process. Uh, I just use a brush. I just use my dish brush. You just want to scrub off the outside a uh, little bit of just flotsam and other just stuff that is in the water that you're trying to filter. Um, it, it always collects on the outside of the filter, obviously, and doesn't make its way down through into the clean water on the bottom. So the filter's doing its job by holding that stuff off, but that also means you got to go and clean it off every once in a while. Okay, so with the initial cleaning done, I will uh, now get them out of here. These filter candles are a little bit delicate. These are the ceramic Berkey filter candles, and so they're a little more delicate than the regular Berkeys. Uh, so I, I don't like to handle them too much, so I prefer to clean them while they're in place. But now that I've got an initial cleaning done on them, I'm going to get them out of here. And that just involves uh, loosening up these nuts. And I may need a bit of a wrench or something for that. Oh, here. I can use my kitchen shears, which I use for everything. I have really bad hand strength, and uh, so... These, uh, these kitchen shears really come in handy for things like this. They're not only, you know, good scissors, but you can use them as a bottle opener or as a pair of pliers like I just did. Okay, so now that I have this all taken apart, I can try to show you the little break here. It's right there. And it's not much, but it's just enough of a little break in the plastic that uh, it's big enough that the seal is not covering it up quite so well. And I'm getting just a tiny little bit of leak uh, out of there. So um, not good. And although it hasn't been a big issue, um, it, I've been using it for quite a while this way, but I figure since I'm taking this all apart, I would like to just go ahead and fix it properly. And I think I'm just going to do this the easy way, and I'm just going to wash up this top and use this top as a, what do I want to say, pattern. So I'm just going to line up the top with the new top bucket here, drill holes through that line up with the top, and I'll be good to go. I've come over here to my mobile... Uh, garage space. You know, every every van dweller has a mobile garage space. I don't know if you know this. If you're not a van dweller, you might not know. But uh, all van dwellers uh, have a mobile garage space. It's called Home Depot. So I'm here in the Home Depot parking lot just in case I need anything. You know, if I need a new seal or something, uh, I can just run in and buy that while I'm here. But uh, yeah, so now that I've gotten this all apart, I can get to drilling the new holes and putting it all back together. It's like a five minute job, really. Well, it's a little bit of a fail. I did a little crack in this one too. It's just really hard to drill through this plastic. Plastic is not my first choice. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but um, I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna put it together. Uh, I'm gonna disinfect it, uh, put it together and test for leaks, but I think it should be okay. Now let me just 
make sure I've got all this lined up. And this is the somewhat fiddly part, is I've just got to get these filter candles put back in and then secure them with the little nuts. So pretty easy, really. Okay, and then the last thing I just wanted to mention uh, is about the plastic containers. Uh, for years, people have been giving me a really hard time about using plastic containers for my water filter. And it's just one of those little things that I, I kind of just have to do. I'm in a minivan. I don't have a lot of space. Uh, this, I don't know if you noticed, but this is kind of held up on the wall. I have a little L bracket on the wall and then just to secure it on the wall, I'm holding it with bungee cords uh, that are just kind of drilled into the sheet metal of the van. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I just don't have a lot of space anywhere else to put this. My preference would be to put it on my work surface here. But as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of room here. This is all of my work surface. This is it. I don't have much else and I don't have much else place to even hang this if I wanted. This makes the most sense of a place to put this water filter and I'm not going to go without a water filter. I really like this filter. I really like these uh, these Berkey style filters. Uh, I just like them. They work really well for me and I drink a lot of water. I drink about a gallon of water a day plus coffee. So that's a lot of water to go through uh, every day. If I would have gone with the store-bought regular Berkey, the, the smallest Berkey that they have, it would have been a lot taller than this. It would have taken up a lot more room, which means I'd have more trouble filling it. And I could, of course, mount it lower, but that would mean I'd have trouble uh, accessing the water from underneath. The other thing is the regular Berkey is going to be about $230 to $250. And you, you can find them on sale. Uh, you can find scratch and dents uh, for a little bit less, but I mean, you know, you, you're looking at a little over $200. Uh, doing this, making one yourself, is going to run you about $60 to $80. I've never really had $230 to spend on a water filter, even though I really rely on one. Uh, so if you've got the money to buy a store-bought Berkey, I say do it. If you've got the space for it, I say do it. I just don't have the space. I've never had the cash. Um, so this is just one of the little things that I have to kind of make do with. I'm tight for space. This is the best solution I've come up with here. And it's not the solution for everybody. Uh, and it's not even my, my ideal solution. I would prefer to have something else. Uh, but getting into that, um, Using these plastic containers, this is really not a terrible way to go. Now, I understand that you might be incredibly averse to plastic. I am. I'm incredibly averse to plastic. I don't want to use plastic. Uh, but uh, when it comes to plastic containers, these restaurant containers are the best choice of a container to use. Uh, this type of plastic has never used any BPA type of chemical. They don't use it in this type of plastic, which is why most restaurants use this type of plastic. So it's the safest of the plastics out there to use. Is it the safest uh, container to use? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, I would say not even really stainless steel is the best container to use, uh, but this is just the best solution for me. Another thing about hanging it off of the wall here is that it's a lot of it's a lot of weight and so going with a plastic container means that the filter itself is not going to weigh too much and so it puts a little less strain on my little janky system here and i mean again i don't have a whole lot of choices so you can get after me if you want and i'm sure that there are going to be a lot of people because most people aren't going to watch to this far in the video most people have watched the first two minutes of the video they've typed out this thing telling me about what an idiot I am using plastic and hanging this on here and this and that and the other thing and Berkey's water filters don't work and all that garbage, you know, and it's like, 
it's like you know do what you want do what you want but I mean with this I'm I'm actually fairly happy with this uh, setup just because it works fairly well for me uh, if I had a little more counter space I would actually go with a glass container not metal and the reason for that is if you've got a metal Berkey they do heat up quite quickly and you're gonna be drinking warm water I kind of like the fact that the plastic doesn't get quite as hot as a metal container uh, what would be better would be glass it would kind of keep the water uh, at a cooler temperature without having to add ice uh, into your water I don't ever drink cold water or cold drinks at all so I just drink the water that comes out of here whatever the room temperature is is what I'm drinking so I would prefer this to not be so hot a better solution even still would be a, a ceramic crock but there again more weight uh, there's more chances of something really bad happening if uh, it shifted and fell and broke so you know glass is just not the best solution for a moving vehicle so um, this is not perfect and I don't suggest anybody do this except if you're in a position like me where you've got these constraints you might be kind of forced into going with plastic and really plastic is not that bad of a choice um, if you look at the other options you know glass hanging something glass or, or uh, ceramic off of the wall here probably not a good idea um, and oh the other thing about the using a steel container metal container is you can't see in them so you have no idea how much water uh, is in the filter itself so filling it up you're constantly having to open it up look in there try to figure out how much water is is waiting to be filtered and then because you can't see how much water is filtered uh, that leads to a little problem itself uh, they do sell little sight glass uh, spigots and that would work probably if you're in a home where it's just sitting or if you've got more space if I use one of those little sight glass spigots I would have snapped it off so that's not an option either so I mean you know there's just all these little things to think about and um, the people that get after me you know they don't they don't care about all the extra stuff they just want me to do exactly what they're gonna do and they don't want to think about what works for me this works for me so um, this is what I use this is what I like and these containers are really cheap this container was like seven bucks uh, so that's why I went ahead and replaced it I didn't really need to replace this one it just seemed like it would be a good idea um, it was starting to leak just a little bit not all the time but just starting to leak a little bit because of that that break uh, but the other thing was I was thinking this gives me more water storage and it gives me easier uh, filtering because I can just fill it up once have it go through its thing and then I don't have to fiddle with filling up multiple times since you know this holds more water than this was so anyway uh, I just wanted to say all of that because it seems like if I don't say all of that then somebody picks apart what I've said and tries to tries to put words in my mouth and you know I, this is not ideal you know using plastic is not ideal but there's a whole lot of benefit to using plastic and like I said this is not not been a uh, an issue for me so uh, anyway just I just want to say it all so that it's on record that I've said it and if somebody wants to uh, pick apart what I'm saying here and all my little reasons uh, at least I've said it and you know it's out there so anyway uh, thanks for watching everybody I really appreciate it.